For Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, uh, he's arguing today the Biden administration had a knee-jerk reaction to the Omicron variant with very little facts known at the time. Here's what he wrote at FoxNews.com. He said Biden Fauci assumed the worst with Omicron instead of making rational scientific decisions. Senator Rand Paul, a doctor himself, is with me now. Sir, nice to see you. Good morning. Make your Good case. Morning. Well, why, Good morning. Why do you think they jumped the gun on this? Well, this shouldn't surprise any of us. I think uh, Dr. Fauci routinely ignores the science and causes hysteria and creates fear. And this is the opposite of what you really want as far as someone leading your public health effort. Um, the Omicron variant, the doctor who discovered it, uh, we should be proud of her in South Africa. She dutifully reported it, discovered it was a new variant. And she wrote an op-ed yesterday as well. And in the op-ed, she said that so far, no one's been hospitalized in South Africa. So far, no one's died from this disease. And that it's an hysterical overreach to ban travel. We're also banning travel after we now have found this in over 20 states in our country. It's in 40 different countries. So you're banning travel, which will destroy economically tourism and travel and have great uh, hardship for the world. But you're doing it for something that's not scientifically sound. It's not going to do anything to stop the spread of this variant. The variant's already out there. We also don't know yet, will it be more deadly or less deadly? The initial reports, what we know so far, is it looks like it'll be less deadly. We'll know more in about two weeks. But that's when we would uh, think we might want to make some decisions after we know the facts rather than before. Uh, you make some good points here. You say, rather than freaking out, we should take the next week or two to see what comes of it. Uh, Dr. Mark Siegel informs us earlier today that the World Health Organization on Monday of this week, they all got together in a big video Zoom call. I don't know if you, I don't know if you like the World Health Organization anymore or not, but, but they pretty much said that the Omicron is contagious, but not as deadly as Delta. And Siegel makes the point, once that's established, the virus could indeed be dying out. Instead of mutating and getting stronger, it could be mutating and getting weaker, which would be the best sign of all for everybody around the world. This could be the silver lining. You know, everybody's been freaking out about all the mutations. That could be bad, but it also could be something, you're right, that ends the pandemic. The Delta variant started up or came around, oh, I don't know, May or June, but then within three months dominated and almost everything is Delta. If Omicron comes and sort of pushes aside Delta, becomes the dominant virus, it may be this is what ends it. And see, in 1918, when we had the Spanish flu, we never knew where it went. It just went away. Maybe it became a lesser a virulent virus or a less lethal virus and people didn't know because we didn't do the testing and maybe all of a sudden people were getting colds again and not uh, deadly flu. So that may be what happens here. I'm hopeful, but the thing is we don't know yet. So it's it's premature to uh, for Fauci and Biden and just to go crazy and try to destroy commerce again. But uh, the testing they're advocating that you have to be tested the day of your travel to travel internationally right. Is very onerous, but realize that the rapid test, if you have no symptoms, is not very accurate. It's accurate about one in three times. So it's not a very good test yeah, if you don't have symptoms. Uh, I can understand that. We've kind of learned that together as we went. Last point here. Uh, we just mentioned the Beijing Games get underway in about two months' time. Um, you're dealing with a communist government. And two years ago today, they believe is when they found the first case in Wuhan. Will we ever know the origins, do you think, Senator? Well, you know, they say the first case was two years ago, but about two years ago in about a month, there were also some, were some very sick people with COVID-like symptoms in the Wuhan lab. They don't admit to that, but I do think that we know a lot of the truth now. I don't think China's ever going to help, but we do know that when you look at the facts, they looked at 80,000 animals in the wet markets. They never found this. They looked at 9,000 samples of blood from Chinese people who had flu-like symptoms in 2019. They didn't find COVID. All of this indicates that didn't come from animals, that it came from a lab. But the one thing we could do is quit funding their damn lab. Fauci is still intent on sending money to the Chinese. As recently as a month ago, he says, yeah, we have to do research in China and we should fund it. Well, I don't think they've shown themselves to be trustworthy and it should all end immediately. And if Republicans take over the Senate and the House, I can promise you, I will do everything within my power to stop any more money from going to China. Um, Senator Rand Paul, thank you for your time. We'll see where it goes from here. Thank you, Senator. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.